So go to Visual Studio, New Project, and select the ASP.NET Web Application Template, and create a new project. Choose an empty one and hook on Web API, and you will get your project up and running in Visual Studio. So there is a couple of dependencies that we need to get from NuGet. And I've listed all those on my blog. So what you need to do is uh, uh, you need all this to implement an UAuth 2 authorization server using Owen UAuth middleware on ASP.NET Web API. All of those dependencies are related to Owen implementation for ASP.NET identity. Uh, that enables your application to support any standard OAuth 2 authentication workflow. So when we're done with this, we need somewhere to store our user credential for authentication. So in this sample, I'm just going to hard code this by creating a user class uh, with some properties, email and uh, IDs and password and stuff, and then hard code a uh, user service. So for this, what we will do is create a user service and do just hard code uh, to simulate that we're going to pick up some user credentials from a database or anywhere else. So the next step now is to create our OAuth authorization service provider. So I'm going to put this in the provider folder and I'm going to call this uh, uh, OAuth uh, app provider. And uh, so this is where we set up all, all our claims and credential uh, context for our OAuth identity. So there's a lot going on in this file, but uh, so the thing is that the client requests an access token from the authorization service tokens endpoint and, and uh, put in his credential. So what this provider do is validate the, the client, client's credentials and then issues uh, an access token for to the client. So now we need uh, somewhere to, f to fire all this up. So uh, I will create a, a partial class uh, called uh, startup. Well actually here it's going to be partial so it's going to be startup both and uh, uh, what you need to do here is set up uh, all the options. So that will be sort of the token endpoints, the provider we just created, and the uh, expire time for the token, and uh, so on. So we have this as a partial class, and what we need to do now is set up this uh, startup point in the root of our uh, application as well to fire everything up. So make sure that this is in the namespace, the root folder and the, the, the project name, and then create a startup uh, class. This should, of course, also be partial. And this is by convention, the configuration. So the only thing you need to do here is just call the configure auth and then the application which is the application builder here which has all all those uh, auth options so now what we want to do is we want to know who is the user uh, that is calling we're, we're we're bringing on the tokens on our headers on each call now. And uh, what we want to know is who is this user. So create this Owen context extension method. And within this extension method, uh, what we need to do here is get 
the context and then this is built in the authentication here so we can get the claims that are set in the token and from that we can get the user ID and that way you have the user as well so the only thing left now is to put a breakpoint in your provider and then try the application so I've created a test application for this and I'm adding my uh, email and password and then signing in and what we should get there is uh, it will actually break on this uh, and you will get the username and passwords here and Owen will handle everything else so you can see that you have now your tokens.